Hi, in this video, I want to show you quickly how to review the search terms in your Google Ads campaign in an effective way so you can stop showing your ads for unrelated or unprofitable search terms. First, what is search terms? When you run a search campaign in Google Ads, you generally target some keywords in your campaign so that your ad shows up when people search for those keywords. So keywords are words or phrases you select to target in your Google Ads campaign. But Google will show your ad for any search term that might be covered with your keywords. Any keyword that you select might trigger your ad showing up for tens of related search terms that are not exactly the same as your keywords. Therefore, Search terms are actual words or phrases that users enter into the search bar on Google. Some of the search terms triggered by your keywords might not be really a related service that you offer, so you should exclude those search terms from your campaign. Although I must say that Google's search algorithm has improved a lot in the past year, and I see less and less unrelated search terms in my campaigns these days. Still, even if the search terms are related, not all of them might perform well, so you still don't want to spend money on terms that are not resulting in conversions or revenue for you. Today I want to show a quick and effective way that you can review the search terms in your campaigns and how to exclude poor performing ones from the campaign. On my campaign page, I select the campaign that I want to review. Then on the left menu, under keywords, I can find search terms and click on that. In newer accounts with new layout, the search terms uh, is in a different section. Uh, you can find search terms under insights and reports and search terms. One thing that you should keep in mind about search terms is that Google does not provide the data for all search terms triggered by your keywords, which is officially because of privacy reasons, as they say. So if you see the data for one keyword or ad group does not match with the data for all search terms for that keyword or ad group, you shouldn't be surprised. In this page, I can see all the search terms in the campaign that I selected in the time frame, time frame that is uh, already selected last 30 days. When reviewing search terms reports, I always recommend selecting a big time frame enough so you can have enough data and can actually make a decision. You don't want to exclude search terms that have very little impressions as there is not enough data about their performance. Depending on how much your campaign spends on a daily basis, you can select past 30 days or 60 days or past 90 days to review search terms. Today is uh, January 5th, 2024. I'm going to select uh, about uh, the past uh, three months to review my search terms. So I go from 1st of October 2023 to one day before today, uh, 4th of January 2024. Then I'm going to add a filter on my search term to show me only the search terms that have cost higher than, let's say, $50. I type cost greater than $50. The amount that you uh, select for your filter uh, costs greater than $50. Again, it really depends on your uh, daily spend of the campaigns. If your campaign spends uh, very little money every day, maybe $50 is too high for you. It won't show you a lot of search terms higher than that amount. But because my campaign uh, has a, a large budget and it spends a lot of money more than about $500 a day, I can select, uh, I can see a lot of search terms when I select cost higher than $50. Now, 
I'm going to sort my data based on conversions. This way, I can see uh, I can see uh, the search terms that have a highest uh, spend and uh, zero or very little conversions. So when you review the search terms with high cost and low conversion, still you want to keep a lot of them if you feel that they are related. Uh, but uh, I see uh, some of these search terms. I have blurred out the column so you cannot see because this is a client's data. Uh, but some of these search terms that I see, they are not really related to the keywords that I select. For example, some of them are competitor names that I use them, I target them competitors in a separate campaign. I don't want to, them to show in this campaign. Or some of them uh, might not really be a related service that I offer in my campaign. Uh, so I exclude them too. To exclude them, you just select those search terms, the ones that you don't want to show. And here, you can select add as a negative keyword. When you select that, you can add them as a negative uh, keyword to your campaign. So they won't show in your, uh, your ads won't show for these uh, search terms anymore. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know in your comments if you have any questions. Thank you.